the words of the president and the actions of the president, they matter. They matter a great deal. And when the president of the United States puts on these super spreader events, you saw what happened when she was announced. All the people, including his family, thank God they seem to be okay. All the people came down with COVID. I just hope he is willing to have learned a lesson and there will be significant social distancing. I don't blame him for celebrating. There's a lot of things we could be doing having massive crowds. But the fact is that it's just not appropriate now. And so I just, I, I just hope he and the vice president and others act with some dispatch and do it what everybody knows. People should be tested first before they even show up, number one. Number two, they should be wearing masks. Number three, they should be socially distanced. And number four, it shouldn't be a huge crowd, whether it's outside or not. It's a lifetime appointment. I'm not going to attempt to change that at all. There's some literature among constitutional scholars about the possibility of going from one court to another court, not just always staying the whole time on the Supreme Court. But I have made no judgment, my word. My word is about I've made no judgment. There are just a group of serious constitutional scholars have a number of ideas how we should proceed from this point on. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to give them 180 days, God willing, if I'm elected, from the time I'm sworn in to be able to make such a recommendation.